Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. And um, do we have anybody online? Um, Ann Hokinson is online. Okay. We'll have Ann introduce herself, and then we'll go around and have everybody say who's here so Ann knows who's here. And okay. this is Ann Hokinson at Austin. Okay. Renita, you want to start? Sure. Renita Irvin, Stuartville School. Uh, Michael Scott from Selco. Jay Hill from Zambrota Public. Donovan Lambright from Selco. Tyler Irvin, Selco. Uh, Charlie Smart, Chairman today, Preston Public Library and Selco Board Director. Ann Hutton, Selco and Sales Executive Director. Mary T. Feltis, Owatonna Public Library. John Pfeiffer, Owatonna Board. Judy Russert, uh, Board Representative. Pat Johnson, Stewartville Public Library. Michelle McCarthy, Washington Public Library. Oh, Cheryl Hill from Selco. Okay, that's everyone. Do we have any changes to the addition or uh, changes to the agenda? Uh, yes, there is one. Um, we had an oversight. Um, popular works collection is also an action item. There should have been a star there. I don't know if I can allow that. <laughs> what if it's impossible? Well, well you know, yeah. <laughs> if it's easy to be tight, let's put it that way. <laughs> you know, see how popular it is. <laughs> okay. Do we have a motion to approve the agenda? I will make that motion to approve as amended. All in favor, aye. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Hey. Donovan? Yes. Donovan, I'm not seeing your screen yet. Oh, apologies. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. Okay, our next item is input from online library selected representatives. Do we have any? I don't know if this counts as input, but Charlie, can I just ask how the gas post for a few hours? Uh, well, hopefully they got it actually fixed today. They got it temporarily fixed. It was like a half a block from the, the public library because they're doing street construction, and they that's what happened. Yeah, they hit. Uh, actually, they hit the. Cedar line off of it, but when it pulled the connection off, so there was a three-inch uh, pipe that was open until they could get that fixed. So they had to evacuate a few blocks, and it included like the library, city hall, and that type of stuff. So I think it was about four hours that maybe people couldn't be in some of those areas. One of the joys of reconstructing half the streets in town. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out. Okay, so we don't need any action on that item then, right? Okay, next we'll move to the technology project report. Okay, we've got a longish one this time. Um, as always, we have a cooperative technology purchase going on. Um, this is the summer one. Southern Libraries ordered eight computers and related equipment. Um, that equipment arrived early in August and the deployments are in process. Um, we're still carrying out our Pharos upgrades. We're taking these pretty slow. Um, so I've reported on this several times in the last few months. Um, at this time we've done 18 out of 22 upgrades. And some of those were combining with cooperative purchase trips to avoid, to reduce the travel time. Uh, we are still migrating um, library sites to a provider. Um, this has taken, frankly, a little longer than we expected. Um, it's, take, it's proving to take a lot longer on some of the sites. There have been more issues related to plugins and special themes than we anticipated. So each site's taking a little longer. Uh, we've got 12 out of the 33 done. Um, when we do that, there are no changes to the website domains. The URL stays the same, and there's no downtime associated 
for the websites when we move them. So we'll just keep plugging away on that. The Rooms Committee had their first meeting last week. Um, that was fun. We had actually seven volunteers, one more than we had originally asked for, so I was happy about that. Um, they did a lot of brainstorming. There's a lot of great ideas on potential topics. And they're going to meet again in September where we will focus on giving them some hands-on experience with the software, um, let them kind of get their feet wet, and then we're going to start assigning ideas to the different members. So hopefully we'll start seeing some rooms content in the next few months. Um, I just wanted to add that I thought it was a nice assortment of, uh, this is Ann for Ann's sake, um, a nice assortment of large and small libraries. We have some school representatives. Um, we have some library staff that are staff. We have some library um, members on the committee that are directors. So I think we have a, um, an interesting combination of, of individuals. So I think we'll get some varied experiences and content and approaches to content. Um, we are still undertaking our project to replace our blade array and servers. Um, that equipment is here. Um, we will be starting to install that next week when Gina gets back from training that she's at on the VMware platform. Um, the equipment has all been installed. We just need to start um, doing the software setup and actually migrate our virtual servers from the old blades to the new ones. Um, if this works the way it's been planned, there should be no downtime. Um, no services should go down. After the uh, Blade servers are all installed, then our next project is to do an upgrade on our Citrix servers, uh, which actually involves installing all new servers to the new Blades um, and then migrating information over. Um, it's a completely new instance, which also means there should be no downtime. Um, We'll keep the old ones running while we set the new ones up. Um, this is a time-sensitive project. We have to have it done by the end of this year because our existing Citrix software is going to be out of life, end of life at the end of December. We are still working on our DNS overhaul. I talked about this a little bit at our last meeting. Um, we're deliberately going very slow on this. We've got a lot of old entries. And so we're just taking a few at a time, testing them, and eliminating the ones that we can just to clean things up so that we don't have any issues related to that. And if we do this correctly, there should be no downtime associated with it. Although I would say it's kind of hard to test an entry. Sometimes you just have to do it and then hope, hope for the best, <laughs> which makes it scary, which is why we're doing it so slow. Um, we are wrapping up the Selco PC lease. Um, our lease expired in June. Um, all of our new equipment has been deployed here in this office with the exception of the training labs. Um, the computers in there right now were not part of the previous lease, so we don't have any deadline on when we have to return that equipment. So we've been focusing on the staff um, laptops and PCs. And those are all out and we are shipping them back now. Uh, Community School Media Centers is online partners is um, going forward and we're getting close to the finish line. Um, the Media Center at Red Wing High School will go live on September 10th. Um, bibliographic import and cleanup are complete or mostly complete. Um, I think barcoding the collection is almost complete. Um, and actually I have a uh, misstatement on that third bullet I just found out today. Um, they will, the staff will be getting trained next week. I'm not sure where I got the idea that that had already happened. I got my wires crossed there. <laughs> That's probably what it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Tyler is going out next week to train the staff. Um, we've got Horizon set up and ready to go. Um, the only major task that still needs to be carried out other than training is we're waiting on uh, patron files so that we can load that data, which we should have done on time. So we're excited. Um, our other LSTA project that just got started, data-driven collection development, is proceeding. 
Um, we've got Collection HQ in place, and we have sent our first set of standing data sheets uh, to Collection HQ for analysis. I think it's safe to say that process is taking a long time. Uh, there was a lot of work involved on our end um, getting those set up. And a lot of that had to do with the lack of standardization we have with I-types and collection codes, which we always knew was not optimal. And I think it was really brought home to us just how non-optimal that is as we had to fill these sheets out. So that's the price of being in a consortium. Um, the first training date for, date for administration has been set, and um, we'll be attending that. So we are moving forward. We are replacing switches at online libraries um, starting this year. Um, the plan is to do 25% of the libraries at a time. So this year, um, we are deploying new switches at seven libraries. Uh, three of those deployments are done. And the next fiscal year, we'll do approximately seven more. Um, and we'll keep doing that until in four years' time, we will have replaced all the switches. And then our intention is to stick to that timetable in the future so that we put new switches in every four years at each library. And that should help us uh, minimize some of the unplanned outages that occasionally happen when the equipment just finally fails after years of use. Donovan? Yes. So the switches arrived in Austin, and that's cool, except that I don't know what a switch is or what, what it does. Um, Tom is supposed to be coming out to your library um, to actually install that equipment, so you don't need to do anything with it. Um, what the switch does is it handles traffic on your local area network. It sits between the router and your computers. So as the name implies, it switches packets to make sure that the right packets get to the right PCs and vice versa. That's a very okay, short. So it's step. like a like in a like a railroad switch then, not like a light bulb an off switch. That's correct. It would be more like a railroad switch. Um, if you remember back in the days when we used hubs a lot, it performs yeah. a very similar function, um, except the switches are much more sophisticated than hubs were. Okay. So um, the Tom is visiting the libraries to get those deployed, and we're about halfway through for this year. So this is not taking very long at all. Um, the decision to do it every four years had more to do with budgets than it did with workload. OK. Um, in a similar vein, we are getting ready to start replacing the sonic wall routers at the online libraries. Um, this project is a little more complicated because a router is much more complex than a switch. Um, we are replacing approximately half the routers this fiscal year, and the second half will be replaced next fiscal year. And that also is a budgetary um, issue. Um, we have to do this now because the uh, sonic walls are going to run into end of life in fiscal year 2016. Uh, the company got bought by Dell, who immediately announced end of life on these models. So they apparently want to make some money really quick uh, from their new acquisition. Um, but the new routers that we're deploying have Wi-Fi capability, which is leading to some changes to our Wi-Fi service, which we'll talk about later on in the agenda. Uh, the 23 Mobile Things project came to an end in July. 86 participants um, came from the cells region, and of them, 28 participants finished the program. So we were all very excited about that. Uh, the OCLC reclamation project is ongoing. Um, the the uh, latest inventory to be done was at Houston Public Library, and that was on August 15th. And we have many more being scheduled, as well as processing. When do you anticipate everything to be complete? Good question. <laughs> and that is my report. Any questions or comments on any of those? OK, thank you. And I want to thank Anne for the question, because I was wondering the same thing on the switches. So next, we'll go to the uh, committee charge with Anne.
Um, so last time we voted to recommend that we change the composition of the committee. So um, because it's part of the chart, I've, I've still left it as, and this is a committee that was created by the board. So we're taking this as a recommendation both on the composition but also on the list of responsibilities. Um, so um, I heartily endorse the number changes, um, but the reason it's still in red showing it as strikeouts and, and add tos is because this has not gone to the board. So then looking at um, the other changes, the things that are noted in red, when I corrected this charge, I was trying to um, clean up language with regards to, um, you know, you know, there had been in the past some questions about why are certain self of staff members at this meeting, so clarify the fact that they're here to be able to answer those questions that um, Donovan or I or Michael can answer. Um, based on our discussion last month that we, I would serve as ex officio, um, there are some tasks that this committee has never done, so I thought I would take those out. Um, there's some tasks such as vote on recommendations forwarded by the subcommittee. When this group was originally created by the board, it then it, within itself created sort of a complicated structure in that um, all recommendations started at this, or all topics started at this group, then were forwarded to a subcommittee, an appropriate subcommittee to study those topics, and then came back to this group for action. And it seemed a little bit cumbersome and also slowed down the process. So we haven't had that subcommittee structure for a while, so it was a good thing to, it was one of those good things to get rid of. Um, so um, that, this set of um, strikeouts and add, add tos um, are my suggestions for how to update the committee as I see what your role is, if there are things that you think you should be doing, uh, things that you sh think you should not be doing, um, certainly this is an appropriate time to um, get those recommendations on paper and, and the staff and I will take them to the executive committee next month. And are you, do you have the Word doc up uh, or the PDF? This is the PDF. Okay. So if you have changes, I will try to take good notes. Otherwise, if you are recommending, if you like all these changes, someone can just make a motion to accept all the changes and we'll be done. Well, I actually have a few comments. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you know what's coming, right? right. Okay. Um, one thing in just sort of a general looking at the task for this committee is, um, you know, trying to think of the, the strategic plan for this organization. Um, we talked a lot about having libraries be more involved in their role at SELCO as opposed to having a, what's been described in some of these meetings as a top-down structure. And I feel like some of these tasks, as you said, they've never been done and so we're taking them out. But in some cases, like assist with orientation and training, I sort of think, well, wouldn't it be nice if we were more proactive in those things because then I do feel like it would align with the strategic plan and some of these things that we do. Now I understand that at the same time there's some practical issues with that because we don't work for CELCO and we don't, you know, aren't doing maintenance. And so I understand that that side of it and wanting to get rid of these types of tasks, but um, sometimes I wish there was a bit more interaction with technology because I feel that um, several staff members, while very good at the things that they do, um, in a lot of cases don't work in the libraries that they serve. And so it's difficult, I think, for both sides to, from the library side as well as the administrative side, to maybe fully comprehend the needs of each other so that, you know, there are things that I feel we could be doing more proactively, perhaps as a committee, perhaps as individuals, and in sort of interconnecting. And so in many ways I feel like one of the reasons I wanted to look at this charge a little more in depth is because perhaps those are things that we, we could be focusing on and aligning with the strategic plan. 
It's funny that you should bring that one up because as a staff we have been meeting monthly since the new plan was approved and, well, since the new plan went into place in July. And one of the items that Reagan and Tyler have been charged with is actually um, coming up with an, a, a possible proposal, is that the right pot word, for a mentor program? or an outline that you plan to bring oh, to the library. They've been trying to think about how they, we could better involve library staff and library directors in the orientation of new staff. And so I've asked, they're, they're putting together an outline. So that action, the one you actually chose to use as an example, James, actually probably um, is, was a perfect example of one that should not be taken out at this time because we've got staff working on just how we might involve the talent at your library. Um, when I actually did this, it was, which is why I forgot and didn't bring it to last month's meet until last month's meeting until you know, I left the room and came back in. Um, I'd done this like in April, and so you know we didn't have some of the benefit of some of the discussions that happened at the advisory committee. So uh, any of these that are stricken out, if we, um, if you want to add them back in, easy enough to do. That's why it, that's the beauty of track changes in a Word document. Do you want to add some visionary tasks? Well, I'm sorry, am I interrupting, James? Go ahead. No, no. You, I mean, you. I don't know, honestly. I mean, conceptually, there's this idea that this would work like this beautifully, but as we've already discovered, some of these things have never been done by this committee. Now, whose fault is that? Is it our fault? Is it Selco's fault? Is it no by fall because they weren't practical. I don't really know. I, you know, I wasn't here during the formation of this committee, so I don't really know how it sort of began and what the intentions were and when these tasks were originally developed. I'm just trying to, I would feel like when we look at these things that we should really be thinking about what they are rather than just putting them on paper and forgetting about them for the next 10 years, which is usually what happens when we do these things. So. So I would like I have, to I have a comment and raise my hand. <laughs> Nobody can see me. There should be a raise your hand feature. <laughs> Just jump in. Go ahead. <laughs> um, is the the list is it is it a guarantee of what we will do with other possible things open or is it a list of only the things that we can do and we cannot do other things. Is it a closed set or an open set? Um, we have three board members here, um, but I will speak from experience with our committee charges. Um, generally speaking, all of the committees look at their charge much more frequently than this committee has, and we have a note that that's going to come, we're going to bring this back to you every year when we start the new year, so we will be able to. I do not, I cannot, even with my 30-year-old memory in Selco, and I have my 30-year pin on today, um, I don't remember a time that I can point to where a committee really sort of went off the rails and went crazy, and I had to go back to the board and say, this group is, is, is doing something they shouldn't. So I would say that we've always used this list as a guide, but never, it's not a closed list. So if this committee really felt that you needed to, if we, we took off assist with orientation and, and there was somebody who really wanted to do that, we would not say no. So that's what I was going to suggest is we leave that one back in, we reorder the list and do the participate and in strategic and technology planning, because it's a merged plan. When this committee charge was initially put together, they were separate documents. So if we really are going to be current, it's one document, it's not two. And we also prioritize that and put it up higher on the list. Ooh, no comments. <laughs> James, what what does that does that make you feel like the door is open? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I know that was very convincing. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, I like the idea that we would be reviewing it every year, for sure. You know, do you want some more, you know, visionary things on here? You know, we we can get so wrapped up in our day to day, and we get involved sometimes into minutia that's so small. I want to say, really, <laughs> you know, and um, you know, maybe somebody comes up with some brand new idea they want to move forward on. Uh, an add division, I would say. Rather than task. It goes beyond task. Well, um, I would... Is that you, what you want? I mean, usually you look to your board for that, but often people who have some experience working with the technology can... So maybe the have ideas. Participate. Thank you. <laughs> participate in technology, strategic and technology planning processes maybe the, the, the wrong verb, um, or maybe yeah. that that phrase needs to be expanded, because we actually are looking at um, that, again, that wording was from a previous time where we did a planning process, we developed a plan, and then the staff mm -hmm. implemented the plan. And the new plan is much more participatory, um, with plans of participation throughout the life of the plan. Hence the dashboard that's on the strategic planning page, um, a strategic planning committee that involves library representatives as well as board members. Oh. Maybe it should be um, division is more all encompassing and, and looks looks further horizon. Okay, looks looks scans the world, all right? So, so Mary Kay, would you see that as replacing one of these bullet points? Well, I'm not looking at the bullet points. I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, we have to take a document to the board, Mary Kay. Right. right. So, um, you know, I'm looking at this uh, third from the bottom, um, participate in technology planning process. Could that be expanded in some way so that it's not so process oriented and is not just planning but that more strategic visioning? Would that? That's what I was getting at when I said, you know, more than more than tasks. Right. More than tasks. So, as a board member, I would expect more coming from the bottom as far as new ideas instead of the board introducing a new idea. Charlie. No, I would say it would be coming from. That's where I would expect you to coming from the staff, not from the right. board. So what kind of verb would we use for that? Vision? It's got a bad verb. Could, could I ask a question? This mentor program, what's, what's the, what, how is that working? What are you thinking? Um, well, just for our initial outline, we're looking on uh, mentorship program between new library directors and existing library directors on various topics, such as dealing with boards, county commissioners, um, collection development, programming for youth, adults, etc. Something <laughs> similar could be done between automation contacts that would be more tech-related. We haven't really talked about that, but 